On the 11th hour of the 11th day of November, a temporary cessation of hostilities between the Allied nations and Germany went into effect. November 1918 was then marked as Armistice Day. In 1947, a World War II veteran, Raymond Weeks, saw it fair to honor all veterans on November 11th and not just the ones who lost their lives in World War I. Later, in 1954, President Eisenhower signed a bill that proclaimed Armistice Day as Veterans Day. Now, we celebrate Veterans Day on November 11th at 11 a.m. every year as a national holiday with parades and celebrations honoring all those who have served in the military, whether it was during wartime or peacetime. Uh, Veterans Day basically to me is basically appreciating all the veterans in our country, all the people who fought for us. Uh, my older brother, his name is Nga, his name is Nga Chandwe. And like basically, you know, I see like all the struggles they go through and just, you know, what he tells me, you know, just the things they go through just, you know, for this country, for us to have freedom. Just saying thank you for all the stuff you do, you know, putting your life on the line for me to be here, and, you know, and just like do what I want to do. So yeah. Uh, it's just a day to honor our soldiers and all the fallen heroes who help us and like fight for our freedom overseas. It's like uh, support the people that have been in the military and just give them remembrance for what they've done in this country. Well, uh, I'm a 20-year veteran of the Air Force. Uh, I spent uh, time in uh, the Gulf, First War. You know, it's, uh, it's all in service. The service to the country, people doing what you should do, what you have to do to, to keep America right so we can I'll be free. Freedom. The problem with that word, freedom, is some may think it's really free. They forget or take for granted the price our ancestors paid to ransom you and me. But from Concord to Gettysburg to the Alamo, you can walk those hallowed grounds, hear faint echoes of ghostly battle cries, air shattered by cannon and musket rounds. Citizens, soldiers, patriots and all, old men and boys equal barely teens, fought and died to win our freedoms on a thousand battlefields now green. From north to south, across this land, on a hundred foreign shores, they left their blood-stained hearts and souls for you, gave up their lives and more. So when asked, please stand, face our flags, pledge allegiance like you're proud. Remember the brave souls who fought and died so you could say those words out loud. Love your country and your neighbor. Forget all your petty woes and gripes. Honor our freedom's heroic colors, the Lone Star, the Stars and Stripes. Then bow your head in respectful silence and say a truly grateful prayer because you live here in safety, because our troops are still fighting somewhere for your freedoms. They were never free. 44 million men and women have served. More than 1 million in battle have died. So could you please repeat these precious words Please stand now and recite them with awful pride. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.